Of the show mission, uh, I will just highlight the number four mission to implement self-assessment and certification among member schools or institutions as a process towards and commitment to continuing improvement in quality religious education. And then, rational. No? Responding to the emerging challenges in the categorical apostolate. Doon po sa aming parokya, meron kaming Catholic school. At uh, this school year, we lack uh, CL teachers. Pinulang kami ng CL teachers kasi lumipas sa public schools. Malaking sweldo. Eh. Kaya napilitan akong magturo ng, <laughs> ng Christian living sa grade 10. Tapos eh, nakikita ko yung uh, kaalaman ng mga sudyante, karanasan sa pananampalataya. Toward the end of the school year, there was the signing of grievance of students. Pero lang tinatanong sa mga sudyante bago po pirmahan yung grievance sa ito. Sumama ba kayo sa posisyon ng mahal na araw? Nagsimba ba kayo? Pwede Santo, Pwede Santo, Sabado Victoria, kaya yung Easter Sunday Mass. No? Tapos sabi ko, pag uh, sumama ka ng posisyon, no? paano makikilala si San Pedro? Ay, hindi ko kilala pa ako. Sabi ko, bibigyan kita ng clue. Si San Pedro may kasamang hayo. Pili ka, anong hayo kasama niya? Pusa ba o aso? Kambing ba din? Kambing. Hindi mo talaga si San Pedro. So sabi ko, manok, manok yung kanyang kasamang hayo. Bakit manok? Ay, sa bumero si San Pedro. Naisip ko ulang yata sa katikasis. And, uh, In one of the masses of Cardinal Chico Tagli in De La Salle, and Dr. De Salle was there, uh, in the homily of Cardinal Chico Tagli, he told a story about his experience in one of the parishes in Italy. Sabi niya, nag-isa siya sa isang parokya sa Italy. At nung nag-isa siya, ang mga nagsisimba, mga thunders, matatanda na. Malabi na sa hukay. Tika, ika. No, inuubo na. At hindi lang senior citizens, baka centenarians na yata, matatanda na. Tapos tinanong niya yung Paris Priest. Sabi niya, why is it that only you and all people are attending the Mass. At uh, sabi ng Paris Priest, uh, that's also my question, and I am the youngest priest in the whole diocese. How old are you? 76. 76 in Paris. <laughs> Siya pa yung pinakabata sa buong diocese. <laughs> and the basic question of Cardinal Chitotali was, what happened to the transmission of faith? So the role of the Catholic is very important and what kind of categories do we produce. So we have to see the standards of our uh, catechetical centers. So the rational responding to the emerging challenges in the catechetical apostolate in the Philippines, and in order to set the standards for the catechetical centers institutes in the country. Uh, in our diocese, we have a big problem on the number of Catholics and CL teachers in Catholic schools, especially with the uh, incoming senior high school. This school year will start grade 11. You know? So, kailangan pa ang dagdag na katikista. Hindi lamang sa public schools, kundi pati sa Catholic schools. We need more Catholics, we need more CL teachers, and we need, uh, we need to prioritize no, the catechetical centers, especially uh, the standards. And uh, the association of catechetical centers and colleges with religious education established a certification process for catechetical centers and institutes 
based on the guidance of the General Directory for Catechesis, which lists the three dimensions of formation as knowing, being, and doing. Yan yung advice ni Father, ni Father Dex. Knowing, being, and doing. The requirements for certification focus on content of the curriculum. Kaya nga yung program na pangalala. Spirituality and competence of the formator and student categories. The pedagogical formation, practical and communication formation. So, yan ay napakahalaga. For the concept of framework, you can see your handout in your clip. Pagpitingin na lamang po, no? kasi medyo malabor po sa uh, PowerPoint presentation. So, what it encapsulates the whole uh, template for certification is new evangelization. No? Yung principles, standards for certification, formation program, shepherding, leadership, no? yung uh, knowing, no? content curriculum, Sabihin ang focus ay sa formators and student categories sa doing yung pedagogical formation, practicum, and communication formation. Doon sa, instead of using the word administration, we use the word shepherding or leadership. That is an appropriate term no? instead of administration. So under, uh, under shepherding, yung organization, organizational structure, uh, then linkages, yung alumni, talking of missionary disciples. Para na ito, no? Nawawala yun sa aming Catechetical Center, naubos lahat ng alumni na punta sa public schools. No? Paano, may, paano mo itatrack? Saan mo sila hanapin? Sa public schools. Nagsilipat na sila lahat. No? The Education Institution, Church Organization, Funding Agency. Malago to. We could have a very wonderful program, but if we lack resources, no, both material and financial resources, may have the realization of our program. So, uh, these are important. And then, uh, assessment of knowing, being, and doing through appreciative inquiry. Yun yung uh, pamamaraan. And then, personal, pastoral conversion, recommendations, all this will boil down to your evangelization. What is the use of all of these, all these instruments, this uh, assessment, all of this will boil down to your evangelization. How do we use this for evangelization, for the greater glory of God? At mayroon din yung Next. Siyempre yan ano, no? Uh, next is methodology process. How do we go about this uh, certification? First is the formulation of instrument. Ito ba yung pinakamatagal ng gawin? No? Matagal na itong ginawa. Meron na pala noon, no? May nakalakal na nakopya noon na may may attempt, there was already an attempt to uh, to the formulation of instrument, but uh, we updated it and uh, uh, we critiqued it, and now we have this uh, uh, instrument. Meron po dyan sa, in your handouts, you can see the instruments. For the program, for the curriculum, for the formator, and for the the student categories. Just uh, see it. No? If you have some comments or critic on this uh, instrument, no? uh, you can just send this to us. Kung meron kayong comments no? about the details on the instrument for uh, for mentor, student categories, and for the curriculum for the program. And then after the formulation of instrument, we will have this piloting the instrument for three categorical centers or institutes, namely 
uh, Bishop of the uh, Evangelization Catechetical Center of Bowie, the Mother of Light, the Mother Francisca Catechetical Missionary Information Institute. Why do we need piloting or validation? Para maging valid yung instrument na gagamitin, kailangan ay piloting. Pero pakulang, pero pakailangan doon sa instrument na ginawa, no? uh, we can uh, revise or adjust the uh, instrument after the piloting. So after that, no? uh, yung validation of the instrument, then the final drop of the instrument. When the accomplish the final drop, we can already begin the process of certification of Catechetical Centers with Institutes in the different dioceses. Pakainin nyo lang kami, no? Pakasahe, maghahanap pa kami. Pero yan, uh, what is the process? The Bishop requests from Edge for certification of Catechetical Center or Institute. Ay, yung Bishop po yung pag-request. Hindi kami basta papasok kailangan yung request ng uh, bishop na pag-ordinary. And then the self-assessment, self-appraisal, or self-survey. We will be sending papers on what things to prepare, including the instrument, para hindi na kayo uh, abahan o ano bang mangyayari, para alam nyo na kung ano yung gagawin. At maganda, taposin nyo na. Para pagdating namin, approve na na. <laughs> if you are able to prepare all the necessary uh, things, you know, the facilities, the program, including the formator, the student categories, and everything, kung maganda yung preparation nyo, you know, baka padaling namin isang araw lang tapos na. Pero uh, para magkatulungan, you know, hindi kami darating na uh, basta na lang magbibigay ng assessment, kundi uh, we will be sending papers on what things to prepare para nakahanda rin kayo. At ang um, ihanda rin lang yung kakainin namin, tutulungan namin. At uh, mahina naman kami kumain. At, uh, Something sweet. <laughs> sweet and marvelous. <laughs> Then, drawing up a synthesis of ideas, principles, and theories on cutting basis, Catechetical formations. Number three, identification of areas for assessment on knowing, being, and doing. Number four, meeting with the director or directress of the catechetical center or institute. This will be done prior to the actual visit. So, we have a host of your head, your directress or director na catechetical center or institute. Edge reports to writing the Bishop of the Diocese, Edgy Bishop members, and CBCP President for the Certifiers PC. So, ilang may go signal no? sa uh, Bishop, Edgy Bishop members, and CBCP President. Then, approval of Edgy Chair, no? si Bishop Pobe, to commence the actual visit of the Certifiers. But okay na yan, so, actual visit of a team of certifiers. Marami na kami yung team. No? May tatlong team na yan tayo. No? Meron na kami yung teams na bit po. No? Uh, pwede sa Luzon, yung basta Visayas, or Mindanao. Uh, number one, assessment of knowing, being, doing, then interviews. Si Monsignor Jerry Pagkabisyam siya mag-interview pang bishop. When they were being Monsignor Jerry pang bishop. Kami, ano lang? Aray pa. Nasama sa interviews yung formators, tatipis. Then, after that, in analysis, then appreciative inquiry. And then uh, assessment by the certifiers. After that, the uh, edges feedback 
findings and recommendations to the bishop of the diocese and teacher for official certification. So official certification is the bishop and teacher. So far, yung, uh, yung process. Do you have any question on violent reaction? Kami nila si Dr. Pilar, Sister Rhea. Lahat ng violent questions kay Sister Rhea. Kay Dr. Restante. <laughs> Lalo na sa aking advisor kay Father Lene. Na. At kung di namin kaya, si Monsignor Derry ng sasalog lang. O baka siya bang magtanong? Uh, fathers, uh, can we level off with the documents and maybe the TWG can can help me because we still have time. This is a reading time now for all of us. We really need your input, your your comments regarding the instrument. The first thing is the concept framework. Let's look at the concept framework. You may mga arrows, you may mga kahon. Right? Okay, ito muna tayo ha. Kasi that is the mother document. That's the mother document. Can we flash that, uh, Father? The concept uh, framework. Okay. I will ask uh, Dr. Pilar to... Oh, kasi hindi, hindi na yan, Father. That's the old that's the old framework. Dr. Pilar, can you discuss the concept framework with the fathers? And then we'll stop there and then we'll get comments and uh, input. Um, okay, uh, if you look at the framework, you will see that the, the, the box under the template of certification, you will see there that the certification will not be on just on the program or the center itself. No? We are looking at the total picture. No? We are not isolating the, the center from the diocese. So what we will do is to look also into the vision mission of uh, the diocese or the commission on the cases. Because uh, what, what we want is that from the vision mission, we flow really the, the program. And then we are also going to look into the objective of the catechetical institute and down to the formation program of the center. So um, just to show you that one should inform the other and one should flow from the other. So meron pong coherence from the vision mission down to the program. Okay, so that is why we have included that there. And then if we look at the three. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm going to put the connector open. Thank you. Um, but more or less, pwede na po yung presenti, Father. Okay. And then also, you will see that the three boxes of knowing, being, and doing. Okay. So, um, we, we believe that in the process of um, certification, we need to look into these three in all the aspects of the centers. So what do we mean by that? We need to, to look at knowing in terms of the content Okay, of what is being taught in the capital, catechetical centers and also in terms of being, this is the professional competence, um, the spirituality, both of the formators and also of the students. So um, it will be, as a, again, as I said, we, we are looking at the entire picture. We are evaluating the program, the formate, uh, well, the formators in a sense, and also the students. Okay? That's why in this uh, process of certification, there are two very important um, principles that we follow. First is the principle of reflective assessment. 
ano po yung reflective assessment, just like in reflective teaching, there will be self-survey, whereby both the formators and also the students will do some reflection on how um, the, the catechetical ministry is conducted in the center. So both the formator and also the student, this is the reflective part of the assessment. Then we have in psychology, we have the so-called 300, uh, 360 degrees evaluation, meaning that all the stakeholders will be asked to, let's say for example, the students will be asked to evaluate the formator, the formator will be asked to evaluate the students and all the other stakeholders within the center. Now we don't want this to really be, to, to appear as some kind of us, um, you know, just like a tobacco sword hanging over your head. No? Um, as I emphasized a while ago, it will be some sort of an accompaniment, okay? In order to really help us better our work in the ministry. Um, in the first place, this, this idea of certification came upon when there were catechetical centers who wanted really to have the certification because they want to know if they are really responding to the call of the ministry in the way that they should. Okay, so this is more of um, an accompaniment, a service that we are giving to the catechetical centers. Now, a very important part of the, the framework, again, if you look at the right side under shepherding, here we have uh, the organizational structure. Because even if we have the vision, mission there, if there is no infrastructure that will support the programs of the center, then nothing will come to fruition. So it's also important that we have the, the, the organizational structure there. Okay. Now in the organizational structure, you will see that there are a number of um, things included like the, the human resource. Okay. Um, the ancillary resources or the ancillary services that must be present. Okay. Because we are retaining a center and it's important there are also ancillary services. Then we have financial, very important. Uh, the physical facilities like the chapel, library, and uh, laboratory. We do recognize that it's not easy to maintain a center. There must be a steady flow of finances uh, in order for the center to, to be sustained. That is why in, in the process of assessment, we may discover some ways of finding uh, of uh, resource mobilization or helping the center find some funding in order to sustain it in its operation. Um, one of the one of the things also that we see is that uh, our alumni could help us also along the way of um, uh, funding and finances. Okay, and then um, you will see there at the end what we want is that uh, personal conversion and eventually new evangelization. So we are going to give a certificate and the certificate at the end of it all, we are going to give a certificate which will be good for three years. Okay, um, it doesn't mean that when the center is given the certification, it will be forever. Because what, what we want is that to sustain the growth and the development of the center. So there might be a need for us to make a visit again, or the team to make a visit again, after three years that you've had your certification. May tanong po ba? Parang pahandungtod po natin. Uh, may tanong po tayo, meron po bang uh, umabagabag sa ating isipan at kamdamin uh, regarding the certification? May gusto po tayong minawin? Uh, yes, Father. Okay po. Ah, okay. Um, Pinapa-explain po ni Father yung difference between being and doing and I really believe that the best person to explain that is our consultant. <laughs> um, a father is asking ano daw po yung difference of being. Uh, the, the, the framework that we use is what, the one by in the general directory for catechesis. So uh, the general directory for catechesis has this uh, affirmation that for any catechetical formation, it has these three basic elements. The being, which refers to the person of the catechist, it includes uh, his personality as well as spirituality. 
And then the, the knowing is the content part, the knowledge part that is uh, required of any catechist who are covering scriptures and then catechetics as such, the science of catechetics, and then uh, uh, the truth of faith, as well as human sciences, because uh, catechesis is an interdisciplinary ministry as well as catechetics is an interdisciplinary science. So, so um, both human sciences and uh, theological sciences, pastoral science, are put together in our in a an integrated and holistic technical formation. And then the doing is uh, we refer to the methodology and the pedagogy that is uh, 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 passed on or taught to the to the candidates. So these are these, these are the three elements, uh, three dimensions, so to say. So it's three dimensions that make up a uh, uh, holistic and integral, integral uh, formation of the catechist. Uh, that is why even in the, the instruments, these three are reflected. The doing, the being, and the knowing. Okay, because what is in the framework is actually articulated in the instruments that we have. <clears throat> so, uh, let, for example, may I just invite you to look into the instrument for the formators. We have that uh, there, just to show you how the, the knowing, the being, and the doing are articulated in the instruments. Okay, so we have there first the knowing. Okay. In the knowing, you would see there that there are a number of items that look into the, the knowledge that the formator must possess, possess rather as formator of the catechetical center. So here we have knowledge of the content, the scripture, truths of faith, catechetics, and human sciences. Um, what we did is to strike a balance okay, in terms of um, what knowledge should be there uh, or knowledge that the formator should possess. So, so for example, we have possesses a master of license or doctoral degree in religious education, theology, or um, catechetics. Okay? Um, and then possesses training and experience in handling formation of Catholic communities. So these are all under knowledge, possesses knowledge of the basics of the Bible, the Old and New Testament, firm grounding on catechetical contents and methodology. So these are all locked under knowing. And then when we go to being, this is professional competence, Christian spirituality, human sciences, and literacy. Okay, so we are looking into the, 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 the formator in terms of what he is, no, in terms of his professional competence. So you would see here, again, there are several items under BA. Okay, and then doing, we have now the pedagogical formation. Okay, so now that is how the three aspects of knowing being and doing are articulated in the instrument. Yes, Father. Just follow up. So it needs to talk it's more of a curriculum? Um, not only the, the curriculum. Okay. We are, uh, of course, no, it's important for us to look into the curriculum because there are also requisites in terms of the curriculum. But also in terms of the way the program is implemented, managed, and supervised and also the people who manage, supervise, and implement the program. And also um, the result of the program in terms of the formation of the catechists themselves. So that's why we are present, we are looking really into the total picture. Kaya nga po meron tayo dyan mga iba-ibang classic instruments that look into the three, knowing, doing, and being. So it's not just the, the program. Because the program itself will not be implemented or will not run if the formators and the other people in the catechetical center are not really equipped with the knowledge, the skills, and the values that are needed to run the program. Yes, for Father. For the recipients, in order to evaluate, for instance, the formators or the 
yeah, the recipients uh, according to you when you were explaining a while ago. Uh, part also of the assessment is uh, the feedback coming from the recipients themselves. So they also have an instrument uh, which uh, intends to uh, gauge also, for instance, the features of the group. Ang makakasagot po niya. Aha, okay. So, sabi nga po natin yung method natin is 360 degrees. No? So the students will be given also an instrument that will facilitate their assessment of how the formators and the different personnel in the center implement the program in order to see if it's uh, effectively implemented in order to see if the program really responds to their needs as future tactics. So, meron din po tayo niya, Father. Um, Ms. Sander, perhaps you can add to what I, I said. As Father. As Father. Well, uh, aside from the instruments, uh, the instruments are just uh, uh, these are just guides. Um, part of the assessment is uh, basically interviews and uh, in interviews with uh, orators, students, alumni, and other other uh, stakeholders. So, uh, we basically rely on them. just. Uh, answering of this uh, interview should be done. So, uh, yes, uh, just to add uh, a methodological process, uh, the, those of you who have uh, uh, experienced uh, go, uh, undergoing uh, accreditation to the to pass school, you realize that uh, there are some uh, pass school requires a lot of documentation. So, bago naman din yung creators, kailangan natin yung lahat yung documents. In fact, I think you have said it probably in front of their office campus and then they come with all the recommendations. For, the, for this certification, um, the team uh, decided that uh, we will not put uh, uh, so much weight on the documentation as this would really burden the, the center itself. No? But rather, on the uh, interviews and observation that, that the team uh, would, uh, would conduct with the different uh, people uh, involved in the running of the center and the, the formation of the catechist. So it's, it, it has more personal touch, uh, the whole process has more personal touch than that of the past group. So because you do not want to come uh, in the center as if uh, this is a body that uh, uh, gets into it and kind of uh, investigate everything. Rather, as uh, Dr. Pilar has been insisting, we are uh, we would like to just journey together with the Catechetical Center so that the service that the, the center gives to the catechist uh, uh, will be such that the catechist in turn will uh, render the ministry uh, quality service. Um, and to that also, uh, part of the, the reflective aspect is that the students in the center will also be asked will ask the question, does the program, the entire program, uh, shape me into the missionary disciple that I will become eventually, whether in the context of the parish or in the context of the educational setting? So in that way, you know, your, your reflection opinion would lead the, the student to look into and reflect on the program. Uh, is it adequately preparing me eventually for my work as a catechist, whether it is in the school setting or in the parish? So, meron pong ganyang classic assessment. Yes, Father. Uh, first of all, um, I would like to congratulate the team, the technical working group. 
you did a good job talaga. Tinitingnan ko ang ganda. Kaya lang, I'm speaking on behalf siguro. The small diocese is here. Napag tinignan mo yung, yung buong dokumento, it's a tall order for us. Uh, mga maliliit na mga diocese says. Kaya, pag tinignan mo, parang pangarap lang para sa amin to establish a catechetical center. So, but catechesis as a ministry of the church has to be acted here and now. So, paano? Mangangarap na lang kami. <laughs> Call order po. Siguro po, natapos na yung mga technical na tanong, this is from the pastoral and practical perspective. How? So, sana po, uh, yes, in Bicol, we have a regional catechetical center. But, uh, in, I'm from Katanduanas, from Bela. But titignan mo, if you go to Naga, mahirap po para sa amin. So, uh, kaya, doon sa diocese po namin, we try, tinatry din namin, kasi tinitignan mo na from the formators, kailangan mo meron kang masteral or doctoral degree. Okay, so, nag, uh, for us, answering the call for the moment, the catechetical ministry for the church is a call here and now. So, we, we, naki, ano po kami, nakitay ang po kami sa boke. But, uh, pag tinitingnan po yung mga, yung mga uh, standards for us to qualify, it's a full order. I would even say, suntok sa one. So, paano po, from the practical and pastoral standpoint, paano po kami matutulungan? Siguro po, yung mga maliliit na mga dalayo, si says, that uh, desires to professionalize and then uh, sagutin yung um, tawag ng ministeryo dito. Paano po yun? That's from a practical and pastoral. Apo. Apo. Uh, eh, may, may follow up po si Father. Sana po matanda ako po lahat yung tinatanong nila. So, um, in our Catechetical Center in our studies of Caceres, uh, we have the six months intensive formation course for catechism. But unfortunately, the question is, um, after uh, finishing the course, what opportunity can we give to the catechism? Because we have a certificate na accredited na BDPK sa mga catechism that they can be hired in Catholic schools to teach. So, I don't know, after accrediting sa ACRE, is under a credit para magkatapigay tayo ng certificate that we give ah. more opportunities sa mga nagtatapos sa ating medical centers. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So, ang dalawang katanungan po, tutulungan po din ako ng ating team, no? Um, very real po yung tinanong ni, ni Father yung sa um, sa Virat po ba, no? Um, that is why um, um, parallel no, to this um, certification are some of the moves by ECHE. Like for example, a uh, very real thing po is the, uh, the the certificate program for uh, leadership and supervision of catechetical centers, so which we are already, which is in the planning stage already. Um, uh, this will be under the, the auspices of ECHE, but LaSalle is very much willing to help us um, unfold or unwrap the program. Now, the aim of this is to really help catechetical directors, priests no, in the diocese in charge of catechesis, to acquire the needed competence in order to effectively unfold or uh, run the catechetical program in the diocese. Okay, so isa po yan sa mga steps. That, because we do realize that not really, not all of those in the ministry really would have on the preparation for such ministry to run effectively, manage effectively the ministry. So, we will have a program. Yeah. So, you will see, side by side, we, we do realize that, that particular need. That is why we are conceiving this particular program to address the need of formators and also those in charge of the cases in the diocese. So, at the end of the program, it's a 10-day program, you will be receiving a certificate. Okay, it's, it's like um, how can you be an effective leader of the catechetical program or the center in your diocese? 
So may, uh, may mga iba-ibang, there are uh, several topics that will be included in the 10-day training program. And at the end, you receive the certificate. So that is one of the, the ways okay, that we perhaps could journey with you. I think I also have to emphasize the journey aspect. No? Um, before we do certification, perhaps what you can do is really to assess itong particular area na ito, itong particular diocese na to. what are the needs first of these guys? Because we cannot really jump into certification right away with nothing to certify. No? So perhaps before the certification, meron pong assessment talaga. Ano ba ang, ang needs? No? Uh, in line with that, again, a parallel program is um, a study on the shape of catechesis in the Philippines. That is also in the camp. No? We are going to look into the catechetical situation in the country. This will be a research we undertaken naman in partnership with the University of Santo Tomas. We are partnering with the major Catholic universities because we know that Eche alone and us alone would not be able to, we will not be able to accomplish this. So looking into the shape or the the, the state. The status of the ministry will help us also see ano ba nangyari on the ground. So that when, if ever we dream, we keep our feet planted on the ground. So meron po mga parallel steps that we are doing. It's not only, that is why I always emphasize, we do not look at certification in isolation. But always, it touches base with the other plans of ECHE and also the plans of ACRE somehow to address your uh, concerns for Father. Okay. Your second, yes, Father, thanks. Uh, just, uh, Father, Father, give a very valid question about the pastorality of this, uh, of this certification. Tama naman si Father, kasi iba-iba na mga catechetical centers are valid uh, uh, in terms of uh, resources, uh, in terms of uh, possibilities, no? So precisely, the, 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 if you look at the instrument, it's an open uh, instrument. Uh, there, are, there are no real set standards that they do not have to have today. Practically, that's why we emphasize the interviews and the dialogue uh, between the team and the, those who work together in order really to come out with realistic assessment of where the center is. And uh, in that way, um, the teacher can help Eche come out with uh, possible help or as uh, Dr. Pilar mentioned with some programs, but mas medyo ba ito aspect programmer niya eh. Pero baka siguro meron pa talaga kailangan talaga ang, uh, ang ibang centers. That's where we dialogue. Because uh, the, I think we are very much influenced by Pope Francis' uh, way of uh, for doing pastoral uh, ministry. There are the ideals, but the ideals are not supposed to be uh, to make us uh, kind of uh, afraid of to move on. But rather, they're just simply there to challenge us. But but the real uh, program or uh, action is where the, uh, the what what is the, the, the situation, and uh, the team uh, uh, of Eche aims at helping the center to uh, come up with this clear picture of their situation at the same time help each other. So, so it's, it's really more really accompanying and at the same time educating on uh, uh, enriched by, this, by what the situation in order that we are really moving towards this uh, what we call the evangelization that is, uh, that is uh, trying to uh, do the ministry with more uh, uh, renewed energy and enthusiasm. Uh, so so to, to, uh, it's not really Hindi ka talagang punta ng paasa, talagang meron siyang ano yun. Hindi, ito talaga is kind of a fraternal uh, uh, sharing of the situation. Okay. Yung tanong po ni, ni Father from Caceres, no? uh, you do train a lot of catechists and at the end they don't get employed po in, in Catholic schools because they do not possess the necessary certificate. Um, um, one is that um, I don't know if this will resonate with you, but in our case, we do train Catholics. The trajectory is is not really the Catholic schools. The trajectory are the, the, the public schools. And also, Catholic is in the parish. No? I don't know if we still have the, the Sunday school. No? Uh, during the Sunday school, and also public schools. In fact, there is a dearth 
of catechism that will respond to the need of students in the public school. So when we speak of the public school, the parish, um, the, the catechists that we need are more than what we can supply. I think uh, it was very, made very clear by Father. In fact, even the Catholic schools are short off. Now, um, ito po mga tinitrain, kasi po certificate giving na are really educational institutions. Oh, like, uh, kaya nga po yung ating sa De La Salle na gawin natin so that there will be an institution that will give the, the certification. Perhaps for if you need that certification, you can tie up with an educational institution that is mandated by CHED or by, yeah, by CHED to give certifications after the training program. In that way, armed with the certificate, they can now go to the school where they want to be. You, uh, if, if I may just uh, mention that is what USP is doing now. We, we have our credo uh, program when we reach out to, to schools, train them in catechesis, and then afterwards give them a certificate you know, stating that they have gone through the program and now they are certified catechists. 